today. Welcome to Thanksgiving 2016, which I know you're a little bumpy. We'll be out of here in a second, so just hold on, buckle up, and breathe. And by the way, while we're talking about that video camera right there while I'm driving, I want you to understand that I don't text and drive. I don't, oh, my lake is beautiful today. I don't really look over at somebody in the shotgun seat. Um, that to me is so much more distracting. You're even like slapping at your kids or if you don't hush that Elmo toy up, I'm throwing it out the window. I remember those days. But this camera being right here in the view of where I'm looking is not distracting to me, but I'm sorry if it stresses you out. But um, that's not why I'm coming to talk to you. I wanted to say this. It is Thanksgiving Day. And again, maybe not when you're seeing this, but um, hello. And that lady did not even wave back on Thanksgiving. So I just wanted to say this, consistency, okay? I have been through what turned out to be like a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving today, and this is how it went down, okay? My mother does not want to clean up, okay? And typically but she likes the tradition of having these things at her house okay well then there's cleanup mom I'm gonna help you or whatever but it's just creates a very tense situation okay um, and not really her fault but it's just kind of some tension okay and so I'm just thinking when the rest of these holidays roll around guess what it's all going down at granny Tanny's. so therefore I wasn't even gonna buy a Christmas tree but maybe for a little baby we will assemble one like last year when Christopher and I got one for free and we decorated it with oranges and um, grapefruits that we dehydrated and it was so it smelled so good so I could go with that for pretty much some f free decorations you know and natural and then I could just hoist that over my back fence and not have to disassemble it or anything <laughs> but anyway um so here's how the Charlie Brown uh, Thanksgiving went down so my mother decided that we were just going to pick up something. First, we were going to go to Cracker Barrel. I know there's nothing there I can eat, okay? I really don't care. I, I can eat before. I could sit there and not eat. I could bring something to eat. It really doesn't matter to me what where people go. Like, whatever. I will, I will work around it. I just don't care, okay? I, I'm not living to eat, okay? I'm eating to fuel my life. That's why I eat like I do. So anyway, um, we were going to go to Cracker Barrel. Well, Carly did not want to go there because, you know, a lot of the things they have, their mashed potatoes and all these things, really are not vegan, and she's not on board with that. So um, anyway, so we decided, Christopher was like, I'll orchestrate this Thanksgiving, and I'm listening to him on the phone with my mom from the other room. This is story time with Tanny. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm listening. He's saying, I'm, I'm orchestrating Thanksgiving. So they've decided that we would pick up subs, or they would, at either Firehouse Subs or some a couple sub places. There were some choices. There's another local place and all this. So I'm like, um, you might want to check and see if those are open. I got this, Mom. So they're in there, and they've decided. So Christopher and I are on our way over today. So I decided to just bring along. I had some persimmons left over. And I had a few dates and I had a couple stalks of celery. I already had a green smoothie before I left, okay? I really wasn't hungry. And then I knew when I came back I was going to have another green smoothie and that was just going to be my snack. You see, I moved that snack time up to lunch time. So be it. Like, it was it was a plethora of food for me. So we get there and I had my whole food bag with, uh, I mean, I didn't even assemble it. I just like threw it in the bag. Like, I, I was more concerned about, I had gotten little baby a Build-A-Bear for, um, his birthday but I had some other little goodies too I was more concerned about wrapping that up so anyway we go over on the way there Christopher and I passed two of the places and I was like son these places are not open he's like well pull through and let sure enough close for Thanksgiving I mean like that seems standard to me but anyway so they were closed and we get there and so um we're telling my mom you know I think these places are closed and she's like had this panic look on her face like, well what are we going to do and she's like well if we go to, to Cracker Barrel we're not even and Carl is like I'm not going there and it just seemed like gridlock okay so Carly and I go in the kitchen and we're kind of looking through and my mom had cooked up some um, turnip greens the other day and some beans that were plain and um and then there was some potatoes in there and Carly's like well let's just kind of and okay so there was some sprouted grain bread there that I bought her that she's never eaten, okay, and some earth balanced butter. So Christopher had <laughs> earth balanced butter toast, okay, and then um, 
I, I had celery with persimmons and dates, okay? My mom and Carly and little baby had um, some kind of, I believe it was the Ezekiel um, seven grain little bagels, okay? And then Carly did a little skillet fry of some potatoes and onions. And um, there was some kind of canned no salt tomatoes they put on there. And then there was the collard greens and um, yeah, and it was like this mismatch, um, and little baby's just worrying about getting to his presents, you know, and I just thought it was funny. I was really sitting there thinking, like, how grand is this? Like, we didn't have to spend any additional money. This is just stuff we already had, and, like, we didn't have to wait in line. We didn't have to fix the table. Everybody's fixing the food. Just, ah, uh, none of that. It was a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, and I thought it was beautiful, and however, Christopher and I and little baby were the only ones that were really nonchalant about this. I mean, Chris and I, we were obviously playing Play-Doh with the child, you know? <laughs> we were having a contest on who could create the best animal. Christopher went with the classic snake, and I told him it was a cop-out. I went with the owl, okay? I was obviously the winner, but little baby refused to judge. But anyway, so, um, and I had gotten some books and some other little things, and we were just, you know, we were just enjoying the moment. And you know, later on, a little bit later after we ate and everything, I was just like, why is it so tense? You know, why? And I said, you know, this is the time right now that we're all together. Like I know a lot of people this last year that have lost people in their lives that they loved, like a part of them died. You know, no more. No more hate in this world. No more anxiety for nothing. No more black holes in your heart. No more animosity. No more hate. Down with hate. Up with love. Like they say, it's the one thing in this world there's not enough of. Love. I'm not going to live like that. I'm not going to waste my days. I have a profound feeling. This will sound corny to some people, but... I just have a profound feeling there's not much longer. And, and I don't even mind. All I know is that profound feeling pushes me towards more love every day. More love, more love, more love, more kindness. You know? And um, it's important. Every time I'm around the people I love, I'm, I'm keenly aware that it could be the last time. It's a sharp awareness that I have. And um, on another note, I wanted to tell you this. You know, when you're trying to create the life you want and the health that you want to build or getting out of the dis-ease that your body's been dug into, you know, you know what the number one thing is? Here it is consistency and also it's a holistic approach it's not just what you're putting in your body or what you're not it's also what you're not putting in but it's also your thoughts your feelings your emotions you know are you breathing what what is going on in your mind a holistic approach to that you know healing and well-being and creating the life we want through consistency through mapping out a plan doing your plan getting your results it's not about thinking about it every dang second of the day i didn't even think twice about see i really didn't want to make a dressing and all this because not like dressing stuffing but dressing for my salad or anything else because i really my best dressings have a little bit of fat in them. They don't all have that, but I really wanted to save that for later for my evening meal. So I just moved my stack up. And um, and really, I also thought that was very portable. I mean, my plan was just to take my Whole Foods bag along with my pocketbook into wherever we were going, Cracker Barrel or whatever, and assemble there at the table. I really don't give a dang what people think. No one questions me anymore. No, no one assumes I'm not going to be what they classify as weird. They just assume, okay? And, and also, before they, my family even knew what was in my bag, okay, 
I don't even think Christopher saw me put all that together. All of it. It was three items, right? So, um, I don't even think he knew. But no one was saying, well, what's Tanya going to eat? She doesn't eat these grilled potatoes. She doesn't eat these beans. These collard greens are cooked probably in oil with a little salt. Like, what's she going to eat? No. No one considered that. You know why? Because people realize I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to pull it off no matter what day it is, no matter rain or shine, day or night, no matter if it's a holiday, my birthday, no matter what's in my inbox, I'm going to do it. Because I know from my past that my health and well-being depends on it. And you really have to think about this. What's your leverage? You know, in my case, if I was to put let's say rice, all these kind of things that I became allergic to. Like I cannot digest that stuff. Um, salt, di different things, additives, all this stuff, anything that's not fresh, whole, ripe, raw, fruits and vegetables, greens with a little healthy raw plant fat every dang day for the win. If it's not that, it's not my food. I have a knack for blending, smoothing, you know, creating, cutting, all this. I, I have a knack for making that into interesting, wonderful recipes. Who taught me that? I taught myself and what was the leverage was there was no other information on that. There was no dressings that were raw, but lower fat, no salt. So I made my own. What was the leverage was pain. Pain is a great motivator. And it doesn't have to be physical pain. What about the mental pain or the mental fog or the mental anguish or you just can't get ahead in life or you keep on thinking you're a failure at this or whatever or you are, your every movement and thought routes around your 25 pounds around your waist or whatever it is. Maybe it's four pounds. Maybe it's 200 pounds. Maybe it's the dis-ease of arthritis that you can't get in the floor and play with your little baby like I can. I couldn't have done that before. I had a hard time playing with my own kids, but now granny plays. I feel like playing. I feel like loving and living my life every day and I want to convey that to people that want and are ready to hear that message. Number one, a message of healing that dis-ease is just your body not at ease right now, but it will be again. And also a message of love. Again, a holistic approach. Dropping the resentment creating open space of purity and freedom wide open spaces in your mind in your surroundings and in your heart so that you can be filled with love and light every day consistency on this day of a charlie brown thanksgiving and also i want to say this i want you to know that i love you friends that watch me on this youtube channel and have seen me go through a lot and I, I really I really walk my walk and talk my talk it's all I know it, and, and sometimes you know when people say like oh you don't show enough fruit or you don't it makes me think it, it will stop me in my tracks and I'll think no I, I don't show 15 mangoes with 19 kiwis because number one that's too much food for my breakfast. Number two, where's the greens? And number three, I got to pay my house payment. You know? And I think, but that's not how I do. And then I remember, all I have to do is what I do. And all I have to do is be me and show love to you. So I appreciate you being there on the other side. And I know when I'm saying this to you, I see you there. I know you're there. And I appreciate your friendship and I'm thankful.